Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a brand new release. 2020 Topps Gold Label Baseball, 16 box, pick your team number two. A big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Steve Schwartz with that last spot mojo. If you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in, a, uh, in the team random. Uh, the one box break of Chronicles Baseball. Let's print and rip. go hot off the presses thanks everyone for getting in <laughs> right exactly chestnut the proverbial roof not real roof. That, that would hurt and there's gold labeled baseball right there so this should be the right case let's pop this guy open let's see what's inside this thing Luis Robert on the front right here, one framed autograph per box. So, a lot of fun. I think all, do all cards ship in this? I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah, all cards ship. I think the base cards are all like different levels. They're like level one, two, three, I think. And I guess there could be some real gold somewhere in here. Maybe a gold nugget It's gonna pop, Logan. That'd be cool. I think class one is the most common. There's Robel Garcia, Luis Robert, Aristides Aquino, Labor Day, Gavin Lux. I think that Gavin Lux is numbered. All right, so the Kino to 99 will go to Todd. The Class 2 Luis Robert goes to uh, Rich, Ferretis, and the White Sox. And there's Robel Garcia at a 150 Class 1. AJ Puck. And behind Garrett Cole is going to be Matt Tice. Four out of 75. That'll go to the Halos. That's going to go to Rich. Got the Angel straight up. Let me get a container for this. I'll be right back. All right, next box. Yeah, Matt Tice always kind of kind of fools you. He has the same initials as Mike Trout. He's number 23. 
Trout's 27, I think. And then kind of kind of fools, kind of tricks the eye a little bit. Darren Redding, what's going on? Yeah, gold label is pretty sharp. I do like these. Frame. There's a class three out of 50, Paul Goldschmidt for the Cardinals. That'll be for Rich. Pete Alonzo to 150. AJ Puck to 99. AJ Puck for Joe M. Steven Schwartz with the Pete Alonzos. And Rich, of course, won the Cardinals in the filler break. And the frame behind Tim Anderson is going to be another Matt Tice. Back-to-back -back Matt Tices. This one is not numbered. The other one was. All right. Rich, Angels. Arsenal saying that guy's going to be a solid for us as long as he gets more experience. Can we make it three for three, Matt Tizes? No, the group doesn't want that. Two's enough. Yeah, watch it's an Angels hot case. David Fletcher could be in here. Dylan Bundy. Andrewson Simmons, Shohei Otani, Mike Trout, Class One to Seventy Five, Joey Votto, Jose Altuve to Ninety Nine. Kyle Lewis, Gallo, Marte at the end. Nice Kyle Lewis, Darren Redding has the M's. Altuve for the Strohs, that'll be for John McCall. Joey Votto in the Reds for Todd Greenwald. And the frame is Jalen Davis. Nice. Rookie auto for the Giants. That'll go to Lee in San Francisco. The, the lettering is sharper in the background this year. Sometimes, some years, the printing process gets weird and it's really hard to see the the lettering in the background there, but this year, really, really sharp. <laughs> Rex wants to see a uh, all cheater set. He wants to see uh, steroid players, PED players, corked bat relics, trash cans, mic wires, buzzers, all that. He wants all that. Would that sell? A keynote to 150. Just a reminder, all cards will ship. There's 
Aquino for the Reds. That'll be for Todd Greenwald. And back here is Kwang Hyun Kim. Nice. That goes to the Cardinals. That'll be for Rich, who won the Cardinals in that filler break. Wasn't there a guy that, that drilled out the core of his bat and filled it with, uh, with super balls, like those bouncy balls? Maybe I just made that up in my head, Rex. Does anyone remember that? Super Bowl? Maybe it's something that I just want to see happen someday. Ah, was it? It was Craig, Craig, Greg Nettles, Craig Nettles of the Yankees back in the 70s? Yeah, what, I think it's Craig, but with a G, which is kind of weird. One at bat after hitting a home run during a 1974 baseball game against the Tigers. The Yankees' is Greg Nettles broke his bat, and six little Super Balls came bouncing out. Nettles claimed ignorance after being ruled out in the play, saying he obtained the bat from a fan and didn't know there was anything wrong with it. There you go. I remember that. I remember watching that game like it was yesterday in 1974. We got Mike King. Mike King doesn't remember, probably. 21 out of 75. I don't know. We should ask Mike sometime. And that goes to Mark Smith and the Yankees. Yeah, Super Balls. Yeah, those little those little rubber balls you get out of the out of the thing. At grocery stores, you put 25 cents in there, you get a In fact, the Super Bowl was the reason why it's called the Super Bowl. If you remember that story. I don't, I don't know if it helps hitting, but... I mean, that's why they cork bats and stuff. The, the, the core of the bat gets lightened, it gets dug out, so it lightens up the bat. Usually people put cork in it, but... There's a Yoshi Tsutsugo to 25 for the Rays. That'll be for Patrick Cologne. We'll see Kershaw tomorrow. Hopefully his back's okay. Dodgers are up 15-1, and they have the bases loaded again with two outs. Austin Barnes up to bat. All right, the next frame autograph is Advert Alzole. Nice one for the Cubbies, Nick Galvin. I think George Brett was one of the most angry incidents of any play. 
Yeah, I, I think I think that has to be one of them. There was a time when uh, Juan Marichal put a almost put a bat to John Roseboro's head in a Dodgers Giants game. Oh, I don't know. Someone in the minors? Wow, Stephen K remembers when they used to drill. They would they really do this? They would drill bats and fill them with the mercury, and then when it's when it slid to the front of the bat, I guess helps you whip the bat around a little bit more quickly, get some bat speed. There's another Luis Robert Class Two for Rich. I've never heard of that. There's Wilson Contreras, four out of 50. That'll be for the Cubs, that'll be for Nick Galvin. And Yachty to 150 for Rich and the Cardinals. All right, the next frame is Dennis Eckersley, a piece of his lumber and his autograph, five out of 25. Golden Greats framed autograph jumbo relic card. Piece of his, how often do you think Dennis Eckersley ever swung a bat? He was on the Cubs for one, two, three, what, three and a half years or something like that, and the Cardinals for a couple of years. Do you think he's ever had an at bat? He's had a lot of at bat. No, he's had not had a lot of at bats. You know, he had a lot of at bats with the Cubs. He had fifty-five at bats. One year, 56 the next year, 69 at bats in uh, for Chicago when he was 33 years old. And then with the Cardinals, he had one at bat. He did not record it. Yes, they do. They do match the player, Chestnut. All right, next box, we're about halfway. Uh, that's true, Jorge, you're right. He does have three career home runs. He had two one year with the Cubs, and then one the year before that in 1986, and then one home run the year before that. In 1985 with the Cubs. So, for a relief pitcher, it's swinging a little bit. <laughs> Willie Mays to 75. Ozzy Albies to 50. And here's a class one Luis Robert. Maybe we'll find a class three. I think we saw a class two. Maybe we'll find a class three by the end of this break, Rich. Got Vlad Guerrero Jr. Nice. 60 out of 75. Love the frames on these two. These are really sharp.
Rich with the Blue Jays. No, ATL, you're right. Dennis Eckersley, no Mike Hampton. Mike Hampton would break. Jacob DeGrom to 75. That'll be for Steven Schwartz and the Mets. And George Springer right there. Yeah, Mike Hamden had 16 home career home runs. They're definitely a threat. We've got some O's. Hunter Harvey, rookie autograph for Lauren and the Orioles. There you go, Lauren. On the board. Next box. Next frame. There's a Kyle Lewis right here. Mariners, Darren Redding with another Kyle Lewis. <laughs> right, we can't forget about Babe Ruth. Kim Card's reminding us, right? Right, he hit some dingers in his time. And we've got Jake Rogers. 38 out of 75 for Travis Melberg and the Tigers. go. Frames are awesome. Love the look of the frame. Where's some other good good hitting pitchers in the in the in the modern time? Madison Bumgarner can hit pretty decently. I think Greg Maddox had a decent bat too, didn't he? ATL KWC saying Rogers, what Jake Rogers' dad buys, buys his low numbered cards. That's pretty cool. There's Ricky Henderson to 25. Class three out of 25 going to Joe M and the A's. Another Kyle Lewis. J 
Jackie Robinson to 150. Nice for the Dodgers. And Cody Bellinger will go to the Dodgers too. So Matt Gomes has the Dodgers. There you go. They're up big on the Braves at the moment. More Kyle Lewis's for Darren Redding and the M's. There's Ricky Henderson, 25, right there. And the frame, Jose Canseco. Nice. That goes to Joe M and the A's. Darren Redding remembers when King Felix hit a grand slam. Which is pretty cool for an AL pitcher. I didn't I don't remember that. RTR with a kind of random out of the blue reference here. <laughs> Maybe not in real time. Joe Maurer, 311 lifetime batting average, by the way. Rick Ankiel, Rick Ankiel, right? That's when he stopped becoming a. Was he still a good hitting pitcher when he was pitching? Oliver, what's up? I would like to see that relic too, Stephen K. But that hat might be in the Hall of Fame. Should be in the Hall of Fame. Belongs in a museum. Redemption, any guesses on this? Mariano Rivera to 50. That's for Mark and the Yankees. That's who we got. You are due to receive a framed autograph card of N, New, New York, New York Mets or Yankees. Aaron Judge, Aaron Hicks, New York Yankees. All right. Yankees, Mark Smith with the Bronx Bombers. All right, final four boxes. Good luck, everyone. Behind Altuve is Don Mattingly, MLB Legends, piece of his lumber. 12 out of 50. Mark Smith with the Yankees, couple hits back to back. Albert Pujols to 150. For Rich and the Angels. Rex is calling a trout. Yeah, I was kind of surprised to see Pablo Sandoval out there. I didn't realize he was even on a roster, let alone a playoff roster. We got Willie Castro. Another Tigers auto for Travis.
Three boxes to go. Plenty more in the store, ladies and gentlemen. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Do all the gold labels today. We got Late Night with Sean tonight as well, so whatever I don't get to, Sean will definitely get to. We can do everything on the site except for any, for any pre-orders. Got Max Kepler. Max Kepler going to Rich in the Minnesota Twins. Definitely, definitely a tease, Rex. Is real-time reference just dropping random stats for you? Or unless he's lagging behind. We pulled that Alzale card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten hits ago, so he's behind ten boxes. But yeah, that was that was a tease. It said New York Yankees. Oh, no, you're live. So you're just, oh, okay. Just seem out of context. Now I guess he is Logan. Well, they said there's golden, like real pieces of gold as relics that we can find in these this year another Kyle Lewis yeah Alzale is pretty solid we actually have been tracking him since his first Bowman first were released I think Rex was on all over Alzale as a prospect and then his first start here's another Kyle Lewis his first start in the minors and another Kyle Lewis his first start in the minors was was very impressive. So there, that's a level. We've got a lot of Kyle Lewis's here. Class one, class three, class one, and here's another one. That's a class two. So I think you have class one, two, three. And the frame, the frame behind Mike Schmidt is going to be Logan Webb. Not Logan Collister, longtime Jaspies supporter. No, it's Logan Webb. That'll go to Lee and the Giants, my rivals. Oh yeah, maybe the back of the packs has odds on gold pieces. Base parallels, base card parallel, framed autographs, frame dual autographs, one out of 1,854 packs, frame dual autograph parallels, even shorter printed. Uh, Legends relic, black, gold, Golden Prospect Relics. I don't know if that gold is a reference to the parallel or the actual Golden Prospect Relic, Golden Prospect Relic Parallels. No, I mean, 
I don't think I, I don't think I saw it there. Right, right. It's a little nebulous. It just says, just says, find real gold somewhere in gold labels. I don't know what's what it's supposed to look like. Is the frame like 14 karat gold, or is there like a gold piece and then an autograph? I don't know. A little gold chunk. Is it along with an autograph or something? So we'll just have a player and a piece of gold. And a, and, and a gold piece. And a little gold nugget. It's just a little fleck of gold, yeah. All right. There's Mike Trout. You got it, Rex, to 75. Called it. It's Tim Anderson. There's Ricky Henderson. Trout going to the Angels. Rich with the Halos. There's Yoshi to 99. For the Rays, that'll be for Pat Colon. There's a Luis Robert. Bryce Harper and Gavin Lux. The Luis Robert goes to Rich. And the Shy Sox, the Southsiders. King of Cards says it's a gold piece. Last year's odds were one out of every 17,815 packs. So with with only a handful of packs per box, how many cases is that? All right, the last autograph is going to be an Astro, Abraham Toro. With the Strohs, that's going to be John McCall and the Houston Astros. I think they're playing now, playing soon. And there you have it. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. It's a bit of a longer break, but let's do a quick gold frame recap right here. The Toro, Logan Webb, Kepler, Castro, the Don Mattingling Relic, Aaron Hicks Redemption, sign your cards, Aaron Hicks. Conseco, Jake Rogers, Hunter Harvey, Vlad Guerrero Jr. Piece of the Bat and the Auto, Dennis Eckersley, Adbert Alzole, Mike King, Kim Kwan Hyun for the Cardinals, Jalen Davis, Matt Tice, and Matt Tice, double Matt Tice to start the break along with some Luis Roberts and Kyle Lewis's and whatnot and a bunch of all-card chip, a bunch of other great stuff too. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next gold label break. Bye-bye.